I know what's got me hyped. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Week 3. That's reasonable, right? Three weeks in the same game? Sometimes you just gotta do it. Alright. Where are we at here? I saw it Saturday. I saw it on IMAX on Saturday. Let's talk about it. Had you seen the previous one? Oh, there's a doggy. What a sweet boy you were. Yeah. Staying behind for me. You'll be good to talk in now, you hear? I think it's. I was just thinking about this right now because I was have when I was having lunch and reading about things. I think it was so much more clear than the first part of Dune because the Dune part one talked about like Mentats and maybe the Spacers or Navigators Guild or all these things that are like pretty confusing if you don't know what Dune's about and it's like all this like overload. But this one was like just like stayed on Dune, Emperors, Great Houses, Paul, all this other stuff. It was a much more like clean and focused movie. And so, in a lot of ways, a lot more satisfying. I also, I was talking about this before, but the scenes on the Harkonnen planet were some of the coolest audio-visual experiences I have, like, literally ever had. That stuff was amazing. And Fade Rautha, generally speaking, is such a, he's, like, the most fun character. He gets to have the most fun of anybody the whole movie. So cool. He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgensfield are especially. Yeah, Dune good. One was all set up, and Dune Two was all payoff. Oh, me and Aerith are following a doggy. Isn't that cute? Another dog scene with the with the dog chasing music. Come on, Aerith. Also, for a movie that's almost three hours long, it's sped by so fast. Like, the scenes on the Harkonnen planet were like 20 minutes long, just in the middle of the movie, but it was good flow. And this do this dog is zooming. <laughs> um, he was like, some people have been. I was seeing on Twitter. Some people think that Christopher Walken was kind of like phoning it in, but some of the reasons it's appropriate, I think, is that the Emperor is actually like a very weak figure. You know what I mean? Like the Emperor is basically just like a figurehead in this universe, and all the great houses, um are where all of the power is concentrated. So, um, that's the reason the Emperor was so easily put off. And he was like a low energy figure for sure. I also thought that even compared to the first movie, Baron Harkonnen was like really low energy. Like besides just being fat, he wasn't like that like devious or malicious or anything. He was just kind of like, bah, 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 bah. But Christopher Walken looked really cool, I think. Just the way he looks, he does look like that kind of like old, wise, somewhat weak, but like kind of special figure. I think it works, but I know what you mean. I also kind of think that like Paul, Atreides, and Chani are both like a little bit boring. You know what I mean? Like, Paul Atreides is basically the same before and after his, like, transcendental enlightenment. He's basically the same guy. But, like, in the book, Paul Atreides, like, completely changes character after he drinks the water of life. And I don't think they necessarily showed that. He's kind of just, like, that main character figure. When the first movie seemed like the Emperor was going to be a badass, then you see weak ass Christopher Walken barely does anything. The Emperor is more scary than him. Yeah. But the Harkonnens used him basically to take over Arrakis. 
Like, they basically, like, all the power is in the great houses, like Atreides or Harkonnen. Boy, how'd it go today? Good? It would be Hello. cool if the Emperor was cooler, but it might not fit the story. Just visiting, yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell to out of towners. Wow. Barely got enough for the locals as is. I love this Don't song. You buy them duds you got on. You're city folk, ain't you? I ain't about to sell the bounty of my soil to youngins who ain't never got down in the mud. Oh no, he's gonna make me do it. Now get. Yeah, he's a weak. He's a weak I figure for sure. Thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. Got an eye for this stuff. But you're telling me you got near too? What's this one saying? Something about how rich the soil is. How it can thrive and spread its roots deep. Grow big and strong. Apparently if you talk to your plants, they do grow better. I'm worried about this plant over here, you can just see in the corner. Because now I have the Wi-Fi router in here, and apparently plants around router fields don't grow as well. So this is my favorite plant. I'm worried it's not going to do it just as well anymore. I'm going to have to pay, pay extra attention to it. Aerith's talking to the plants. The dog's talking to the guy. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The Baron in this one... Well, yeah, he gets like... It's the end of the Baron's like role in this movie. Like He does look like a bitch. But he also like doesn't even seem that scary. He's just like... Kind of like this in my... Outside of him giving Fade Rotha a challenge during the knife duel and the Harkonnen planet, the Baron in this movie is... He's just tired and fat. People are threatening him and shit. They're letting, he's like letting them get away with it. That's a cute name for a dog, Melon. We really appreciate it. They finally learned to talk back. We're actually trying to make Gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? Any advice would be great. Hmm. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality Gungaga mushrooms. Or better yet, some Maganga mushrooms. They'll take that soup of yours to the next level. Things Maganga! Here, but unless you got one hell of an eye, better to rely on a choke. I heard this minigame is like a motherfucker. Like, really annoying. They're flavorful suckers, so three caps ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your fur from getting all out. The aroma can be mighty powerful. What are some other parts of the movie I really liked? Um... Yeah. That was like the first scene where you could really tell that he was like really the like that main figure now. Like when he drank the water of life, like there's the little the little thing they show of all the Bene Gesserit, like their history behind his eyes, and then him being like the water at the edge of the sand, like showing the future of Arrakis. That was cool, but it was a little bit underwhelming. Sorry. That was cool, but it was a little bit underwhelming. But that first scene when he like basically like intimidates and bodies all the Fremen, that part was sweet. Stilgar was such like a fanatic. Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. And Magunga mushrooms being what they are, you're gonna want to savor it. Proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Melon, you get them where they need to go. Okay. All the dog to the salt deposits. Roger that. I like the song a lot. Alright, I'm gonna have to fight a bunch of people. Because that's why they show the dog's health on screen. I'm busy. I'm busy, owl. Yeah. 
Where's the doggy? Oh, it's the wrong dog. Where's the dog? Oh, yeah. Found him. It was funny when they were like, he's the one. And he's like, I'm not. And then he's like, I'm the one. Because they're like, what is he? He's not the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was... No matter what he said, Stilgar was such a huge fan. Regardless. That, the stadium... The audience actually, like, laughed at that. That's probably the only point in the entire movie the audience laughed. Maybe there's, like, one or two other moments, but I forget. I also think that the knife fight between Paul Atreides and Feyd Rotha was so well done. Like, actually, like, so clean. Like a really like it felt pretty realistic that fight scene. Not too many like spin moves or like wild ridiculous movements. There's some, but not many. I also like know the movie's like the biggest movie right now. So that's why they have like the Lisan the Lisan El Gaib memes. Like on social media, but it's kind of a trash meme. It's just good because the movie's good. Jesus, we're going to the fucking ringer here. I'll show you what I can do. Yeah. Can, where's my fucking there? Okay, I need to heal here. Is he dead or something? Is he petrified? He's petrified? Is that what that is? I can't even tell anymore, man. If you think back to the first movie, he won the fight with fight because of what Josh Rowland said, the slow knife penetrates the shield. Yeah. Did they... Were they using shields? Then how did he get stabbed? Because of the slow knife too? GMC, okay man. I also like to nap with something going on in the background. I can like, uh, I find I can relax better if something's playing for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, this battle's kind of whooping my ass. Fighting. Okay, how do I kill this uh, this thing here? No, do not petrify me. Just kill this guy. Jesus. Okay, everybody, just just chill out here. Take it from here. Here goes. I love that they have this dog music, it's so great. Oh my god. Stop attacking the dog, you asshole. Oh, that was too close. Okay, get the assess in there. Weak to fire? Got it. I got fire spells for days. How do you like this? Oh, I finally have upgraded fire and lice. Amazing. Boink. I discovered ASMR gameplays a year or so ago and I watch game collection videos almost every night. Um, game collection videos, like people showing you what games they have in like an ASMR format. That's actually pretty cool. I would enjoy that. That's pretty comfy. 
They weren't. He won because he was slow with the knife. He got stabbed and pulled it out while he's trying to block the second. But since all fight's attention was on the second, the silvers are killed. Oh, smart move. You're right. That is an excellent callback to the first movie. You were right. Both of like the the dual sequences of that movie were sick. Looks like they're all slightly different colors. Let's see. Well, one of these auto match Torkin's picture. Review the sketch Torgan has provided with L with left and press L1 to take a closer look. Seek out a deposit of a similar shape and color and mine the finest fault you can find. Alright. View the notes. Closely examine this. Okay, it's got a uh, it's got a triangular This one. Obviously. So follow the dog to more rock salt now? Where? Aha. Yeah, that's not the piece. Got it. to grind him up. Yeah, I wonder if, like, it extends to fighting stuff like that. Like, that's, like, short... That's, like, incredibly short-term future-seeing. I did... I did... I really did enjoy it a lot, though. I missed a lot of like the summer movies this year. Is this the right color? No, it's not that one. This one, here we go. But like he had barely used spice by that point. Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Torkin said we'll need a chocobo to sniff them out. Like even at the beginning of the movie when he was still in um Just at the siege. Like learning the Fremen ways. Only then was he starting to like really regularly have salt in the food. Yeah, there's some spice in the food. Uh, and there's still some spice in the atmosphere, like it started to transform Paul. Because Paul is like this legendary figure, right? Um, but the spice and the exposure to the spice at the age in which he was exposed to the spice is a really important part of his like transformation. Where else did to go for this? Do I still follow the dog? I can't find the dog. Um, I'm kind of wondering, because the third movie... The third movie is going to be the second book, Dune Messiah. But I think it's only going to be one movie for the whole book. Because it's less complicated in many ways than just Dune is. Dune is crazy complicated. If you want to be a real nerd about it, you got a couple of years probably. You could read you could read do the first two books of the Dune series. You're like you're like 16 or 17 now, right? That's how old I was when I read Dune. It went over my head a little bit, but it's still a sick book series. And maybe you're smarter at that age than I was.
I had read like a lot of science fiction. I had read a lot of fantasy at, by that point. But um, uh, something about Dune is like next level. And it's like description of how he like understands things and how like intelligent he becomes once he starts taking the spice. Well, are you gonna find out somehow? <laughs> I thought you said you were younger than that. Maybe you're aging very rapidly. Have you aged eight, have you aged eight years since last time we talked? Where's this fucking chest? Okay, they say there's a second treasure in here. I don't see it. Where is it? Usually there's like a glint of where the treasure chest is. Okay, where does the where does the where does the uh, place start fading away? It fades away there. Okay, it fades away here. <laughs> All right. I mean, I, I guess I misremembered. The, the first book, Dune One, is I think the best-selling science fiction book in history. Um, I can see it. There it is. It's just the chocobo's in the way. I got it. Dune One is the best science, the best-selling science fiction book in history. Um, the rest of the series I think is less popular. It's basically two trilogies: one, two, and three, and four, five, and six are basically. Really, really worlds apart in time, although it's all one story. I've read the whole series once. Wasn't much of a fan of uh, five and six. Some people think four is the best book of the entire series, and a lot of people think it's one. Where am I going? Be sniffing on mushrooms, right? But where? That's where it came from. I guess it's here. I don't know. Are these the mushrooms? Over here? Must be the area Torgan was talking about. So we're gonna need a chocobo to search. Use your mushroom chocobo sense of smell to find the next mushroom. Okay. So they're making me bounce on the mushrooms here. Cool. Okay. Follow, I'm coming. Okay, you want me to get off this thing to pick them? Be very careful. 
are you being very careful? Oh, I heard this is like the bitch quest. Plucking fungi requires not only a green thumb, but a delicate touch as well. Test the pliability of each portion of the mushroom with L. The portion with the most give should be tugged first, and the portion with the least should be tugged last. Find the correct order to cleanly pluck the mushroom from the ground. Can I get a tutorial? Test the ply- this is so crazy. Test the pliability of each portion of the mushroom with L. The portion with the most give should be tugged first. Oh, the most give, my bad. <laughs> Look how plump it is. That is really funny. This is so Japanese. following here. This is sick. Something about this. Probably because it's a guided tour, so I'm not confused and bumbling around running into fucking ferns and cliffs like I've been doing all day. Using the chocobo to smell mushrooms. Using the chocobo on the... Now this is... Now that's what you call pod racing. That, that's for you, GMC. You're welcome. Now this is pod racing. There we go. Now that's what I call music. Defeat the fiends around the Magunga Mushroom. These are the ones who are weak to fire, right? Alright, this is gonna be a yeah, this is gonna be an Aerith show. Dodge my spell? Oh, they're just like blasting that guy while I'm doing nothing. Got it. Do everything. Feel good, man. All right, Cloud. Into the sack it goes. Down, up. Right. Which more give? Up? I think this is... I think I'm gonna fuck this up, but this should be good. Okay, down, up. <laughs> oh, what do 
I doing? One more to go. Let's use the chocobo. What am I doing? Found the path. Away, bird. Hurry up. The smell test is going bananas. There we go. I'll just run to a root. This is so cool. It feels like you're actually getting like a reason like to smoothly traverse the forest without just like sort of like the aimless wandering I was doing before. I'll show you what I can do. I'll show you what I can do. I'm good too. I'm part of the squad. Did I just miss my fucking fire spell again? Ugh. Okay, three of these dudes? It's a bit scary. Can't hit them. Ugh. Wait, two of my party members are stone? I'm gonna lose this. This is going really badly. Ugh. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, now I need to uh, help. Ooh. Gold needle on cloud, Aerith. There. For you. You're up. I'll take care of them. <laughs> One more shot. Okay. I want Cloud to be back, but I also want to take some of these dudes out. How's this? How do you dodge my attacks? What am I supposed to do against that? I don't understand. Terrifying. This is horrible. I'm gonna lose this fucking fight. Items, uh, gold needle, cloud. Okay. Okay, this is just going great. All right, Cloud, it's all on you, buddy. One's down. I don't know how, but one's down. This is toxic. All right, we lose the fight. Okay, that's just great. You know what? That's just great. It's saying you have to silence them or they dodge you constantly? What kind of fight is this? Fuck that. It cannot be attacked while floating through the air? That's all it does. Oh, you like that bitch? Attacking. I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm... No, no statue. 
So the petrifying shot just renews the thing. Uh, but you, if you get hit by the thunder, that's when you're in real trouble. So when do I hit these motherfuckers? Block, nice block. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. What is this? Who thought this was a good idea for a fight? Honestly. We lose again. This is so stupid. Are you supposed to get ATB to use the only abilities that actually hit them when they dodge everything? And then if you don't have a silence, which you don't like by nature. Fuck this. That sucks. These are the worst battles in this game. The gimmicky ones. They dodged my entire fucking ability. That battle's so garbage, it's crazy. Crazy how dumb this is. My fire spell got interrupted. This is actually the stupidest fucking battle. What is this? Like, how do you hit these guys? This. It's so. Oh my god. Always flying through the air. You're dead. God, that battle sucks so much. What is this? Oh, she's got the big cure? 2300 per person. Damn. Here it is, right in the bowl of a tree. I love it. I wonder how many segments this will be. Okay, most give. Looks like top. So, bottom right. 
for sure. First try. Mushroom picking master. That should be it for the mushrooms. Yep, looks like we're done done. Let's get this stuff to Cisne. I really like Aerith's voice. It's very like soft and kind. Okay, note to self, I have to I have to get off by 2.215 2 the latest. But I got an early start today, I might be able to bust out a 3-streamer. If I want a chance to beat this game this week, it's gonna be a lot. I was watching a Cadrill stream. 50 hours a week is like sort of like what your expectation needs to be. 200 a month. I think I probably average like 35 a week. Any better. Just gonna have to not leave the house for a couple weeks. Come on. Here you go, champ. We come bearing ingredients. to give it one more shot. I can pitch in too. Well, since you guys went to the trouble. Okay, one more shot. I know I've said this a million times, but one of my very, very few criticisms of this game is that, like, while there's some more variety and unique flair to your player characters, most characters have just sort of that, like, FF14, slim, pretty, petite, kind of, like, all males and all females are all basically, like, 95% of people are just the same kind of humanoid. And I know that's fair, but it's not that fun. Okay. Like all her warriors are just like oh, dudes. The fairies are always inviting me over for dinner. Thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison, apparently. But as you can see, I'm a sore loser. Cooking's never as easy as you think. Got that right. Didn't need to learn back in Midgar. The company provided all our meals. Tasted like garbage, though. Don't know how I stomach the stuff. Not bad, huh? <laughs> but what about the bombberry flavor? Bombberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Uh, sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup. Time to taste test. She's being a little evasive, isn't she? <sighs> Whoa there. Might want to let it cool. That's pretty good. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I like that pot. That's a nice rustic pot. Love it. Great job. <laughs> Chakra materia earrings. Me and Aerith are better friends. Two for two. All right, let's take a little nap. So, what we're we gonna do next? Is maybe see what other sort of quests there are. I'm missing the last Queen's Blood guy. I wonder where it is. Maybe it's the blacksmith. And then I'll do that VR training stuff. And then the Marlboro. The Sultan of Stench. And then the summon after that. Out of the way, ladies. All these pretty girls crowding my bedroom. It's exhausting being cloud. Being a slender, beautiful man. It's not easy, you know? Okay, this area I still haven't gone to. It's 
It's exhausting being this slender and this beautiful. Do I still have any? Do I have any item transmuter stuff I can still do? I'm getting really cucked on this. Like nothing new forever. Okay, five XP. I'll take it. Enhanced witch armlet. I'll take it. How do I have that now when I didn't have it before? What happened? Oh, nice new stuff. Wow, these are so good. Wow. Okay, let's put those on people. I think it's better than what Cloud's using. Champion belt is what? 10% HP, 5% strength. What did I just get? So much better. What? Psychic's Charm? MP and Magic Power by 5% grants immunity to silence. I think that's going to be too good to change. What's a Karmic Cowl? Increases vitality and spirit by 30 grants immunity to slow and instant death. Some of these new ones are so good. Spirit by 10%, max MP by 6. It's a Setra Talisman, which is appropriate for, you know, who she is, but it's not good enough. This is the one I'm trying to buy. Sorcerer's Earrings. 10% magic power, 6% 6 MP. 10% magic power is nothing to joke at, and she doesn't get silenced that often. Um, I think there's only one bedroom. I think there might be two. But it's a good point you're making. We're just crashing on her bed in her house. She just lets us do it. Pretty nice if you ask me. Vitality by 10%, max HP by 500 is unreal. That's so good. Who should that be? That should be, what's the circlet? What's he using? MP by 10%, magic power by 5%? I mean, that, wait, the other one's better. Six MP, six flat MP is better than no wait, this is better because it has MP and magic power. Grant immunity to Toad. I want someone with that big tanky one. Bulletproof Vest Mark II, change that for the Riot Vest. Wow, that's insane. Space Ranger Service Medal, Healing Carcanet is totally under underwhelming. I can do so much more. I can be ha have so much more fun than that. Such a, such a talisman? There's so many items now. Overwhelming. Safety bit. Wait, there's that new one. Karmic Cowl? Vitality and Spirit by 30 grants immunity to slow and instant death. It's pretty good, man. That's a fat amount of stacks. Okay, so. This guy's got a new slot in his microphone. This is not working for him. I thought I'd make him Moogle up, but it seems like you have to manually Moogle up in this game. Uh, so what do I give this guy? Nice second cleansing material would be nice. Moogle Vanguard, Moogle Sentinel. Max MP plus three is probably the best. It'll do debuff extension instead. Oh, we got a bunch of new level ups, nice. Critical hit rate, critical damage up. MP recovery rate up, max HP, enhanced Tempest, fleeting familiar duration, wind damage. We'll do wind damage. Tempest damage is probably better. Tifa's got a new one. Martial Arts Mastery, max HP. 
and concentration of magic attack power. These are all pretty garbage. Maybe this weapon sucks. I mean, it's hard to say that sucks. It's insane. I don't know, these are bad weapon skills, though. These are too few slots. I can't deal with remembering what I have and what don't have on her. I mean, for her, it's kind of... She's, like, got the most... What do we have here? Auto weapon ability, ATB stagger, ATB boost, innervation, vitality up, auto unique, empowerment, HP. Yeah, these are all pretty extra. What do we got? Steadfast concentration, utterly unbridled strength, selfish buff, buff ultra recovery, max HP, steadfast concentration, attack power, selfish buff. I don't have any of these. I actually think the dragon claws are the best. The dragon fangs have the best... It's not worth it. Once she has it, once she has a better, just a little more defensive. Magic attack power, magic attack power, synergy damage up. I don't know. These are bad. There's a lot of hold, there's a lot of considerations here about which uh, weapon you use. Okay, that was a little detour. Where am I? Is this where I came from? No, this is where I'm going. Okay, got it. Get off the chocobo. There's the owl, nice. Progress. I'm coming, little buddy. Every single time I come here, I have like a feeling of well-being. This is where I have to tap triangle like a hundred million times this game, in order to pick everything up. A little kooky.
So I wonder why four of those slots are grayed out. That's probably the part in the far west. Goodness, what an adventure. Yeah. I figured that area had more to it. Okay. So I gotta go over this way. Find that blacksmith mission. This looks like vaguely like civilization. What's over this way? The left. Someone lives all the way out here. In this wee hut. <laughs> uh, talk about rustic. Talk about rustic? I like without Marco. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact, this could be a whole new string to the Shinra Resort's bow. Eh? The rural getaway. Rural? Cast off modernity and embrace its eternity. Modernity. Thanks. How many people would go for it? Could be a nice little earner. Earner. This is cool. He's got this whole little compound to himself. This is the dream. Not just like a house in the woods, but like a whole workshop, like a Valheim base. You have a whole Valheim base to yourself. Multiple buildings. This is the fucking reason country people have the houses they do. You ever notice you go to the country and, like, people have shit houses, but, like, a million little, like, things to tinker with and different, like, side buildings? That's truly the dream. The best. Nothing better. Okay, we got all these. Okay, got it. Stupid cute Moogle. Nice. <laughs> I know, he's so good. So slow. This guy's a weaponsmith? Doesn't look fit enough. Weaponsmiths have to be burly, like blacksmiths. I guess weaponsmiths don't have to be. Allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Oh! Have you been going around punching things with your attachments? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, occasionally. Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. <laughs> but this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? guy's this? body language is so funny. An old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now. Yeah, who did give him the arm? Uh, wait, the doctor? Right in North Corel? Is that the leather apron? Eureka! You can't be a weaponsmith with sandals. <laughs> Alright. Sorry. Getting Sorry. excited. Got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I finally <sighs> made a breakthrough. You're welcome. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please. Help me build it. Gather the materials I need. You... That's not about that. I like where he lives. So about Barrett's arm. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Doesn't look crude. Look at that thing. It's an insane high-tech gun. It's glistening with chrome. completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. The ultimate weapon? Indeed. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon, I lack the vocabulary to describe. Well, if all you need is some material, sure, why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful, thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. This is one of those moments where if I dig if I came here first. I probably could have got some good guidance around the map. I just never happened to go this way. 
It's always such a baffling map. To wander around initially. Gotta say, never seen someone so interested in my arm. Most folks try their best to look the other way. In my arm. That's, weird one. Huh. That's putting it mildly. Made me realize too how soft I've gotten. Yeah, you have. In the old days, I would have said no touching and decked his ass. In the old days? If it ain't the present, it's the past, son. I'm reading a. Uh, I'm reading the Wheel of Time series, and one of the Aiel wise ones is a real tough cookie named Soralea, and she says like such a sick line. She's like uh, like one of the old women who can channel, and she's like the toughest one of all of them, and just indisputably. And she's like talking to a young apprentice, and she's like in my day like a young, in my day an apprentice like stepped quickly and ran. When a wise one said anything, and since I'm still alive, it's still my day. <laughs> so sick. This is so badass. Like, no, 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 no. The elder still survives. Open the map. Izo is provided with L left, right, and press L1 to take a close look. Follow his directions as best you can to find the necessary Draconite ore. Since I'm still alive, it's still my day. So fucking step up. The UI frame, what's it for? Is it for Fallout? Okay, so go around this way. Got it, next note. Turn left where the... Um, it's probably this way? Right? That's, wait, is it here? Uh, I can't see shit. Look how dark it gets. Uh, it's not this. This is too far. Okay, a white... Um, a white sheet and red sandbags. That's a cool project. I like how Yuffie just like runs around so usefully. Is this where to go? No? It's here, right? Yeah, here. So left here. Okay, right at this tree. Got it. Cloud's not having it. Where did the tree, the tree branches come from? Okay, back to here. Okay, so what did he say? View notes. View notes, view next note, view next note. So for here, around this thing, got it. Do next note. Left at the...
Left at the obelisk. Where's that gonna be? Huh? I think I've gone too far. Unless he seriously skips some steps. The base of some big spiny tree. Like, did you talk to them, or the landlords talk to them, or what happened here? It's not a good long-term plan to talk to the landlord to get them to do stuff. It's not sustainable. Oh, well, there it is. How did I miss that? At least I go left here, right? This is cool. Very Valheimish as well. Few notes. Left here. And the, at the base of the big dog, is it this one? What's that blue thing up there? The ore? Should be somewhere. Right, it must be that blue ore to song. Hey, who are these guys? Oh! Exploding their elemental weaknesses or reflecting of damage during ionic charge will pressure them. They're all weak to wind. Oh, this is the Yuffie show. You're Love it. Oh, ho, 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 <laughs> He's having a relationship with his weapon? I like that. Yeah. Um, you may be that guy already. It might be time for you to live alone. There's a certain age where you're like no longer like the fun guy in the house, you know what I mean? Also, like I had that period too. Like I had a really, really sick apartment. fucking apartment in Toronto that I got with like my oldest friend. Um, but then when he moved in with his girlfriend, I basically like tried to keep the place for the next couple of years, but had sort of like a string of roommates. Like at a certain point, you just like can't have roommates anymore. You know what I mean? Especially not ones that you don't like carefully vet. It's just not, it's not for everybody. Some people like it, but like eventually you have to just kind of like call it. Be like, I can't tolerate having people around anymore. And you don't want to be the guy. You don't want to be the guy who's like, Yo, could you turn the music down? It's like fucking two thirty in the morning. But you also don't want to be around someone who does that. So all you can do is just fucking cut the ripcord, man. By that I mean change plans and don't live there anymore. Nothing more extreme than that. <laughs> okay. This thing's wiggling. As the famous Greek philosopher said, know thyself. The greatest struggle. This is a real MMO-ass moment. 
gathering eight Draconite ore with this music playing in like a jungle setting. The year is 2006. You come home from school and get a Mountain Dew from the, from the fridge and log into World of Warcraft. Hold up. Lane server. It is. Let's head back and check in with Ezo. You log into your Torn Warrior. Your two best friends show up. And you all go quest in Winter Spring for a few hours until dinner. Life is good. Oh, did you find everything? <sighs> yes. Excellent. It's all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush. Wait here while I finish up. <laughs> this guy would have bigger arms if he was truly a weaponsmith who used a hammer. Your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. I remeticize this stuff so much. The artisan crafter. That's especially true for weapons. Swordsmith? Fucking like Japan or like medieval England, you know how cool that is? You make him a new weapon? Am yes, I living the fucking yes. dream? I've done it! Feast your eyes on my masterpiece! Oh my god, I, I am so I jacked up. I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> User as you like. The wheel this kind of rules. The value of the tool, remember? And by association, I can't every quest be like this. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. <laughs> Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy. This guy's a genius. Man, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. I mean, you can try. You can see how it goes and learn from the experience. Years from now, think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right, and that's no lie. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beetle. So <laughs> nice reference to the original. To serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. Barrett's like not comfortable being people gener being generous toward him. So don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. Give him a hug, Barrett. That guy rules. That's your best friend right there. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly though. True. A weirdo. Barrett's like really uncomfortable here. That guy just gave me a free weapon. He's so weird. It's like, he's kind of gross. What's wrong with him? Shut up, Barrett. So sick. Alright, at least we're not giving us all the melee weapons this game. They learned a lesson from game one, I think. Those things suck. No one wants melee Barrett. Regional data accumulated. Let's look at this. What do we have left to do? We gotta find an intel chip. We're so close to done. This is actually a lot easier than usual. Yeah, he's just not he's not handling he's like somebody who can't take a compliment. You know? So you look so good today. I think I look ugly. Just you know, just like that's like that was a funny family guy moment too. Just can you just take the compliment? Jesus. <laughs> a lot of people are actually uncomfortable with that. It's mostly like a self-esteem thing, you know what I mean? 
Like, some people get complimented all the time, and it means nothing to them at all, and they just kind of see it as, like, a hierarchical thing where people say nice things about them because they're very good-looking, and that's fair. People will compliment people for looking healthy. Um, but there's some people who, like, their friends say they look nice, or there's something good, and they can't really handle the compliment. They just kind of brush it off because they're uncomfortable. Finish this thing. We got a new weapon. Kind of weird. It's actually really cool. The melee abilities Barrett has are extremely cool. Uh, all melee weapon for him is like less of a less of a gag though. Yeah, that's a pretty classic Barrett line, I think. You can now transmute a Marlboro orb. What's that? It's a marble orb. It's tobacco? Extends duration of detrimental status effects applies to foes, reduces duration of detrimental. Yeah, that's, I'll, I'll need that to get. I'll get that once I kill the guy. I'm not using exclusive B sides on that. Okay, now I can change weapons for... Does Red 13 have a new weapon? No, but Barry's got a good one. I magic attack to help with his healing. Unfortunately, I have to do this way. Barrier fortification, magic efficiency, healing, item economizer, uh, vitality. Anything else I can do that's good? Empowerment. No one's using an empowerment material? I'm sure like Tifa or someone is. Innervation, disempowerment, empowerment, Tifa's got it. Yeah, fine. I never use these things, might as well keep them. I should honestly just give people like raw stats, honestly. Because I'll never use this shit. Increases damage added to attacks by elemental materia. I'm not sure that works for him. We'll see. I'm not sure that works for him. These are all pretty bad. It's a lot of AP though, which is nice. Limit break damage and attack power, I guess. Or enhanced overcharge. Shane Barrett has to be kind of like a borderline magic user. It's just not right for him. Worse for Red 13 though. These areas are so groovy, everyone kind of splits up and sniffs away. All the birds are sniffing. Huh? How do I get up more?
weird musical interlude. Aha! Bonk, bonk. Packed into the concrete. Okay, so I know I can for sure use that upgrade I just got. Sweet. Oh, it takes 10 of them? Damn! Alright, sorry Yuffie. But you're not Cloud. You're second priority. Alright, start sniffing. Wait, I'm out? Okay, where's the sniffer at? Get out of the way, you fiends. satisfying a little peck on the ground there's something it just does it for me man I don't know it's hard to explain all right so the rest of it is the proto relic stuff except for that one last piece right Got a lot of item transmuting going on here I got 53 of these things, why do I need to make more? I make a relic. Hopefully I have the stuff for them. Jeweled ring, nice. Some of these are gonna be a bit hard. All these exquisite beast spine, exquisite things, are annoying to get. Okay, so last two things are the big fight and these. I can't believe I have to teleport all the way here, it's so annoying. How did I not get a how did I not get a fast travel here? Anyway, to the nearest chocobo stop. One thirty five. Forty minutes. Hey little cutie. So goddamn adorable. Did the same cloud hair? Maybe Cloud is half animal. That's why the birds and the chocobos have the same hair as him. Let's put a pin in that for later. Let's put a pin in that. I want to double. I want to double click on that later. Now this is pod racing. Okay, so um, go east. Right away. Yeah, uh, east and eastbound and down is where we're going here. Give me a mushroom. No. Right away. Yeah, I gotta go across and then this way. Give me a mushroom. I don't know which way I'm I fucking this level is so hard to navigate. Mm, that's a good question. Probably not. Probably like a bird sound parsed through a bunch of filters.
I went to dim some yesterday with my cousin. She's got like a little. She's got like a really, really little baby. And so we're at dim sum. And I was like, hey, here, give me, give me the baby. She's probably like, uh, I don't know, six months old, eight months old, something like that. I have no idea. Um, but she's been saying that like they, she's been saying that it's been such, it's been such a good baby so far. And she is, she's like the most like cheerful, up-tempo baby ever. Like so, like so, uh, like constantly happy. And so we ordered dim sum. So obviously like there's a million dishes coming at all times. And the little baby just like sat on my lap with no, I just said eventually she's kind of like sliding down. I have to once in a while just kind of pull her back up so that she was sitting comfortably. But with all this food coming in, she just sat on my lap and just like grabbed little handfuls of like dim sum dumplings. And just like held dumpling wrappers like in her hand, kind of chewed on them, spat them back out. But because there's so many, there's so much food coming through constantly, she was totally occupied for like an hour. She didn't cry, she didn't do anything. She just sat there with like picking up cups to chew on and like testing things. It was fucking cool, man. She was the easiest baby to look after. Usually babies after a while like, eh, and you give them back to your mom, their mom or something like that. But she just sat on my hand, she just sat on my lap with like handfuls of dim sum. No like reaction to shrimp or pork or anything. She just kind of like chewed on stuff and my cousin was like, I've never seen her eat this much. So cute. Engage the monster threat. Okay. This, are really fighting orcs and the leprechauns? Pull me in. Fuck you. What's my new thing? Point blank. Nice. That's my new one, point blank. Hit him with it. Oh, that's... I remember that one from the first game. I can block this guy. It's really cool. Hey, like that, motherfucker. Does anyone else want to help me with this guy? Are we doing anything over there? Infinity's end. Hit him. Cloud just misses everything, so useless. Synergy abilities, don't mind if I do. Is he using Stardust? Are you Stardust alone? Damn. Wow, you can do a three. You can do a three bar start with three bar up, uh, point blank. That's so cool. Come back here, you little rascal. <sighs> Did I feel respected and understood when I was a child? Uh. 
I don't know, man. By my family, yes. By kids, like in school, I guess so, sure. I don't know, I had friends. Everyone's a little bit rough. Oh, that's so sick, oh my god. Okay, what is this thing? Have I fought this before? This is the one that we fought in the uh Inflicting detrimental status effects on them will pressure them. Do we have any of those? Spells? Breach? Well that's what Breach does. That's interesting. Does Red 13 have any? Get him with this. Yeah! Oh my god. Barret, you got this? Clang. What are we doing here? Your leader is in custody. Damn it all. I'll escort him to HQ. Yeah, it definitely makes more it much more important about your family, for sure. Mission complete. You gotta have that baseline of confidence that comes from mom, from mama's love. But you performed adequate. It's hard to fill that hole. The insurgent leader became radicalized against Shinra following an incident roughly eight years ago. He believes his home was stolen from him. There are many who hold grudges against the company, and it is our job to remove these seeds of trouble before they take root. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Oh, so these can be all over the map. Cool. I've made an incredible discovery. We got a new hologram, Chadley. Whoa, that's a proto relic. While the image is still quite unstable, the implication is staggering. The proto relic has been digitized and stored within the simulation. Digitized. Can we get it out? Magma. Without more data, I can't say for certain. Let's head to the next facility. I'll continue my analysis. He's got a sick backpack. Look at that. Look how much storage that backpack has. Okay, What's new region. Crap about removing the seeds of trouble. They really have no idea, do they? It's Shinra's own fault if he hates them. What goes around comes around. As it should. I guess, but the problem is that not everyone in Shinra is bad. A lot of them are actually good people. You call them good people. Well, I call them enablers. You're both right. Why Shinra keeps getting away with it. I mean, I see where you're coming from. I like this diplomatic discussion, very respectful. Alright, here's next. We'll go to the old pipeline tower. Oh. So how do I get here? Probably this way, or is this backwards? What am I running into? So how do I get up here? Aha! This looks encouraging. I 
see a mushroom. Very encouraging. Oh, a sprig of oregano. So now I need to go that way. They're way up from here, no. Can I jump over here? Yes. No? Okay, roger that. Uh... Is this the way? I don't feel encouraged about going down currently, but I don't see another option. This is... Literally the wrong, the opposite direction. They wouldn't do that to me, would they? Get off the chocobo, cho get off the chocobo cloud, I repeat, get off the chocobo. I feel like I can climb those leaves. I feel like that's one of the first places I went to is down there. Whoa. Have I been here before? Nope, oh, nice. Arrival and objective confirmed. I've disabled the security system. You may use your fake IDs to enter the facility. Cloud is cracked, man. Look at him go. He constantly gets a new ATB. Even when he hits it, he gets more. Absolutely blasted him. Okay, the only way to go is this way, right? Okay, switch up groups. Get a little Yuffie going on here. This looks pretty cool. In your previous mission, you repelled an insurgent attack and captured the enemy's leader. Oh, the indoctrination is real. You must be capable of assessing a situation and making sound judgments. Now then, what should be done with it? Interrogate him. Correct. Considering what we know of the situation, it seems unlikely that the insurgents' ultimate objective was the town's occupation. Which leaves us with some questions. Ones only our detainee can answer. What? Why? I'll spare you the details. A productive interrogation revealed to us the truth. The attack on Paul was only intended Paul, to eh? version, One which drew us away from their real target, Junon's weapon system. Suffice it to say, their plan worked. Consequently, they have seized control of our autonomous sentry units. Your mission is to neutralize the mechanical threat. Best of luck to you out there. So there's some hints in the combat style. So their mechs were hijacked and turned against them? <laughs> Sucks to be them. It is a core tenet of Turk's doctrine that one must anticipate and prepare for every contingency. Yeah, they're never caught flat-footed, that's for sure. All right, guys. All right, fellas. Let's go. All right, lads. Time to fight. So, plasma discharge on cloud. Uh, Yuffie lightning ninjutsu, and just go to town. Just run around with the old Moogle. They know you're coming. The rest is up to you. Oh no! Not these guys. God damn it! Oh. Keep it together. What are they weak to? Everything but lightning for some reason. Oh, 
Why did they not do anything? Ugh. I hate these guys so much. Oh, how do you like me now, motherfucker? Wait. Just use your healer potion on her. Just keep going. Wait. Oh my god. When he's pressured, you gotta switch to somebody else? This is so cringe. Who would thought this was a good fight? Wait, I forgot to use... Where's my fucking Moogle? Oh, there Oh my god, I hate this so much. This is the worst fight in history. What the? Please. This is not gonna. Oh my god! She clapped him. It's a, it's, a, it's a good question. These guys are weak to wind as well. Lightning, got it. No surprise there. It's like, I feel like just spending, the more time you spend listening to people say the language, like in movies or IRL is like the most clutch way, I think. Did I finish doing the doppelganger? Yeah. I'm electrocuted, watch out. That's such a sick spell, oh my god. I was actually at the... At the theater I was at yesterday. They have like a... Take a play, leave a play thing. And one of them was... The complete scripts to all faulty towers. And I'm surprised I didn't take it actually, I was just a bit too lazy. Dead. Um, there's also like England is like because it's such a birthplace of the language. England is such a fertile place to learn different accents. I feel like you go 100 kilometers, the accent's different. She's trying to take credit for our work. Okay, 156. I gotta go soon. Hopefully I can finish these VR missions. Remember that we set a high bar. Nothing less than perfection. The companies are This is cool though. This is good lore. Question, the world's greatest military power. However, our superior strength could well prove our undoing. If our His hair looks weird. It's floating off his back. We must Too much hairspray. The opportunity. And if we fail, we must rectify the situation. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Chadley's given to us good. Thank you for your excellent work. My analysis is progressing smoothly, but I fear I require more data to arrive at a conclusion. 
What? We're still not done yet? <laughs> Just a little more. Okay, there's three more dots on the map. So one of those is the ultimate creature. of theirs is supposed to be able to do anything, right? Why do they need more than one? How's he, he's gonna answer Previously, that one? Each unit had a facility reserved for them alone, but as an energy saving measure, they can now only be used one at a time and in order. One at a time? Cheapskates. Cheapskates. Okay, so is this a whole new area I haven't like considered yet? True, all these areas I never went to before. You're at the port? I really love in RPGs when there's like a... Like in Breath of Fire... Breath of Fire 3 and 4 with uh, Fairy Village or at least Breath of Fire 3, I remember it. Or in other games where there's like a... I mean, Suikoden with the castle is a great example of this. I love it in RPGs when there's like some empty town that over the course of the game with the people you find, you build up and develop with some customization. That is just the coolest thing ever. I just love that. What's, what's up there? Some new area, I guess. Okay, this is the Tifan. This is the from Tifan Aerith, the party alpha. Okay, when do I leave? It takes me twenty minutes to get there. I have to be there by three, so I got a while still. <laughs> Let's dispense with the formalities. For your next mission, you'll be my bodyguards. Can you customize the Necropolis in, F in Fallout? Not that I have need of any, but no matter how much I protest, this one never listens. Hostile forces have infiltrated Junon and disguised themselves as allies. We must take care to discern friend from foe. I don't remember. No harm comes to the president while waiting for helicopter extraction. Yeah, that's true. Make us proud, Trippy. Shall we? Sure. Just watch who you're shooting. I wonder why this is an Aerith and Yuffie quest. I guess because they have different they have different attitudes. Aerith is um compassionate and Yuffie is like rebellious. Enemy vanguards advancing on your position. Be ready to intercept. You guys are from the first game. I was weak to fire. Roger that. People are so weak to fire if they have the shields, understandably. So crazy. Is Aerith insane? Like, yeah, I was, I was saying this before, but I saw some of my Google feed yesterday. That was like, gamers. Gamers notice or gamers complain about how busted the three girl characters are. And it's true. Yuffie, Tifa, and Aerith are insane. They're so good. I mean, everyone's quite good, but. Oh, this one's timed. Oops.
Oh. Who's behind you, motherfucker? It's me. So where's the regen spell in this game? There it is. Here's, this, here's an ability that I've been meaning to use more. Hey, oh my god. Are you joking me? And she gets a limit off that? Dolphin Flurry! Bwamp, 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 bwamp. Little dolphin strike? Holy, what the? Well, what was I talking about? That's some nice Shinra music, finally. I love this song. I've been listening to the FF7 original soundtrack lately. A stellar performance. You've earned a bonus. Whatever you desire, just ask. And it's yours. Would you like Rufus Shinra's baby? Just ask. Mission complete. Our president is the heart of the company. He cannot be replaced. It is vital that we keep him. No, 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 Even if it costs us our lives. Keep that in mind on future missions. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Alright, that was just another, like, straight up fight. That wasn't anything like, oh, you're trying to find the. the, the imposter. I have almost everything I need to restore the data. Alright then, let's do it to it. The sooner we finish this thing, the sooner we can show them what we're really capable of. That implies there's one more. It's in the airstrip? Okay, some other stuff around here I want to check out. Like, where does this rope go? Not getting tired of this song. A tree, a palm tree looks like a, a vertebra. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just jacked off my chiropractor. I've been here before. Okay, it's just another way down. Got it. I have to get myself into too much story here, but we'll figure it out soon. <laughs> I 
too far. And Chocobo. Hey, let me down. Please. Please let me jump down. Come on. Uh, this fucking jungle is so annoying. Oh, did you click on the mushroom? Too bad, you're in heaven now. I'm not fighting the frogs. You can't make me. Just let me down, please, God. Oh my God, please. I have to choke about down? Look, this is, this is a two foot jump, you idiot. Tommy's getting tilted. This is gonna jump me too far, probably. Yeah, take me to Narnia, sure. Okay, not bad. I think it's this way, right? Well, looks like we found the airstrip. Here we go. Or what's left of it. Yeah. Are you making me go to a different airstrip? There's another one before I got into the jungle. Again? It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, or a public telephone booth, eh? Telephone booth? A wee look. What? <laughs> Alright, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Or maybe I gotta kick some boxes. If you call the telephone booth, does someone come and pick you up? Anyway. So the training facility is way over here. Let's do this while we're on the topic. This is it, right? No? Huh? How do I get in? Alright. Can't jump over it. Okay, let's look for other options. I like that, like, I like that cranked up wind noise. Ooh. Wait. You can charge into it? Oh, this is a new, this is a great new piece of information. You can't corner very well. But you don't have to stop to kick. You can just charge through things. I love that. Where are those boxes at? Where are they at? Practice my choke while running. How did all these back? That's pretty fun. I feel like these are constantly rejuvenating boxes. Okay. What's that in back? So satisfying, oh my god. Anything over there? No, just a hill. Big building here. Keep chasing these bad boys. Check out what's in here. Is there gonna be a ship? Is there gonna be a plane in here? Why are there so many boxes in here? Is there a chocobo game we have to rush through them all? It's not easy, it doesn't turn that well. Alright. This is insane. It's like whack-a-mole. I can't get out of here, it's too fun. Alright. 
use the mysterious payphone. And then figure out why I can't get into the training facility after that. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Is Narnia story worth the digging to? I don't know. It's kind of childish, but it's a classic. Seriously? Heavy Christian allegory? Yes, so. So, find anything? I read it as a kid, but I don't remember it that well. Like, C.S. Lewis and Tolkien were homies. Fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> Well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. Like, C.S. Lewis is like a really smart guy. Great writer. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane. Follow the smoke! He's doing a rain Come dance, basically. Airplane. Airplane. Follow Follow the smoke. The smoke. Yeah, Aerith is really, like, fragile looking. It's true. What? What is going on here? How did that work? <laughs> well, I'll be Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here! <laughs> so whose plane is this? It's not Sid Highwind, is it? It looks like it is. Where to, folks? This looks like Sid Highwind. I didn't know he was in this game. Cosmo Canyon, please. You talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? Yeah. I didn't know he was in this game. I thought he'd be in game three. Uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. On my travels? Now, how many of you we got? Too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> I wonder what happens in game three. Like, if Aerith is out of the party, presumably, like, do you get a seventh member again? Or do you stick with six for the rest of the game? I wonder how it works. Do they add Sid or <laughs> Vincent in the third game? I'd say this is fair. Hmm. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. Scratch my ass to y'all pony up. No. Fair enough. Just so you know, there's a cancellation fee if y'all decide to back <laughs> out last minute. Hundred mil per person. Oh. Best think about that. Got it. Okay, so why can't I get through here yet? It's here. But I can't get in here. So what's the deal here? Why are the proto relics of the last two regions being delayed? Like, I couldn't do the last two of the previous mission, too. The previous region, I couldn't do the last two proto relic things. And now I can't get into this training facility. It's actually crazy. Why is there no fucking explanation? Okay, so they're not explaining to me what this the problem is here. So I'm going to go to the Sultan of Stench, and then I guess that's it for my session. God, that sucks, man. Sorry, we'll just get back to you later when you can finish the proto-relic thing. Over here to the right, we'll fight this Marlboro. And I can't jump down. Okay, game. Did 
down to the right. There's actually some items I have that can make this group, this fight a little easier. But let's see how it is normally. Let's see how this goes. The classic. Oh, he looks so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm already double debuffed. These grotesque fiends live in Golgaga's jungles and boast countless tentacles springing from their heads. From their giant maws, they spew corrosive liquid of the most accurate of breath. The exposure to Mako has made them bigger, uglier, and stinkier. Shattering their mouth will make them susceptible to staggering and prevent them from using bad breath. If a left unchecked bad breath will slightly increase the potency, his mouth will regenerate for some amount of time. Dice. How do I shatter its mouth? Oh no. Okay, just me? Got it. All just still frogs and all still asleep. This isn't a little bit. This is slightly stupid. Oh no! What do I do? What? No need to panic. Pretty immobile. Got really good damage there. Okay, we're constantly getting blasted here. Tiva left the party? What? Is she cure fast enough here? Whoa, this is crazy. Really, he's Ifrit? A lame? Okay, so here's the complication. 
Constantly getting spammed here. So she should do the. Hold on. You willing to step up for us? They raise their limit levels, we still don't have any limits. What do I do here? Let's keep going. Test bite, that's not good. Can I heal her? Oh, that was fucking close. If I can get a full infinity edge, I can kill this guy. Oh, infinity's end. I use the wrong button. Oh god. Now or never, baby. Shit. Okay, I kind of greeted there. Okay, so I don't know what happened to Era to Tifa. She's just gone though. I gotta beat this in ten minutes. They said destroy its mouth to take out the bad breath, but I haven't even seen the ability to do that. Lesser resistances, what is that thing? Morphable items? Get out of the way of bad breath. Be able to one-shot this guy. Wait, what happened? One shot. She just cracked him for 9,000. Let's go. All right, I'm not sure what happened differently that time. I think he didn't nuke my entire party with bad breath. Nice. Okay, I'm still really, really weirded out about the proto relic stuff. Your victory was inspiring, Cloud. That malodorous monstrosity has been sent back to the jungle depths from whence it came. That malodorous monstrosity has been sent back to the jungle depths from whence it came. I suspect it will prove useful in crafting new creations. I suggest you hold on to it. You got it, bud. Sultan of Stench is a great name. Okay, so there's one proto relic thing left on the map. I suspect they're not gonna let me do it. I will, however, travel there again. 
and see what happens. Nothing's gonna happen, I know that. That'd be one of those, like, after-the-fact things. doing this to me with no explanation I don't take this well but there's no reason why you can't get in here okay anyway so this thing and then uh, so this thing and then this airfield quest seems to be all that's left everything else seems covered so, that'll do for now, I guess. And then, uh, I might have to do some angry Googling to figure out what the fuck's happening with these two, um, with the proto-relic problems of the last two regions. Uh, regardless. So, I'm gonna go get my, I'm gonna go get my neck and back x-rayed, and I'll be back in, I guess, an hour and a half, probably? Might buy some groceries. I might have, like, my delicious lime or peach sparkling waters. I'm getting very addicted to sparkling water. A sparkling water after two after like two caffeinated beverages feels like very 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 refreshing. I'm a huge fan. Kind of like more. I'm enjoying sparkling water now more than other water. It almost feels like more refreshing. But you know, life goes on. Be it for me, I guess. Maybe uh, see where Sid High Wind takes us to Cosmo Canyon. We must be getting pretty close. It's probably a fifth region. So we're probably at four to five regions. That's what I think. We'll see. We'll never know. I think there's a percentage completion bar thing on the PS5 homepage that I can maybe check out.